Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Kiki Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. We're going to do an update on the Disney hack because apparently the mainstream media just got the memo. Yes, I know. We just um, talked about this like a couple of days ago and the mainstream media is just now mentioning it. If you go to the one tab um, up there, yeah, look, this is just like, I just searched this a little bit ago. The, the Hollywood Reporter, Variety, Wall Street Journal, Wire, Business Insider, Reuters, all like today, like in the last hour or two. It's like, yeah. where have you been? Yeah, so um, this is uh, not not a good situation for Disney. Um, they're saying now, I'm, I'm trying to get the, uh, the story here, if it's been released or they're threatening to release it. Uh, some people said they already had seen the information. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I don't have, I don't have the documents, by the way. I, I, no, I'm, we're not gonna, I'm not going to go get them, but, uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stuff to, uh, sift through, but anyway, it sounds like they're going to throw the, uh, the Disney employee that, that got them in the back door under the wheels of the bus, even though the guy got cold feet, yeah, I guess. Yeah, we mentioned the that, that the, it was in the, in the write-up about the cold feet the, when we talked about it a couple days ago. I just think it's funny because the mainstream media is like, don't listen to the YouTubers, don't listen to this, you know, people on X, don't listen to this and don't listen to that unless we tell you because we know it's legitimate. Right. You guys are two days late to the damn party. Yeah, it's, you know, and this is the biggest story that happened all weekend, right, guys? Right. Well, well <laughs> it, it, it's not the biggest story, no, but no, it's no. definitely one of them. And it's funny to me because... Uh, I was going to write a story on it for Pirates and Princesses today, and I didn't. I haven't got a chance to. But I thought about it, and I was like, oh, it's old news anyway. But apparently it's not, because now everybody's looking for it, because now the mainstream media finally figured out it happened. Yeah. Good job, Vi. Finally caught up. Took you a little while. Um, this is why people go to YouTube. This is why they go to podcasts. This is why they go to Twitter, because the news hits faster there, and it's it's generally uh, you know unfiltered. And this story broke on on Twitter, right? Uh, so let's uh, let's talk about this uh, before we get into any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Now I always talk about the chum bucket in the media. Basically, yes. you have you have one outlet that dumps a story, and then everybody else feeds off of the dump. Yeah, but to be fair, I've I mean I've done that before too. Oh I mean, yeah, we yeah. We do yeah. that with the, the videos all the time. But oh, where, absolutely. Where is their source for the chum bucket they're claiming? This was the Wall Street Journal. So when the Wall Street Journal finally got around to talking about it, uh, everybody else kind of piled on, like, "What? There was a hack over the weekend," and it's like it, the news broke. I think it was like Thursday night or Friday. People were tagging I, me in on it. I know we we talked about Friday or Saturday. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, we, we talked about it Saturday. We is didn't that cover what it. Was? I can't remember. Yeah, we we're all blurs together. But we didn't cover it right away because I was like, is this verified? Because oh my God, the mainstream media hasn't talked about it. But you know, like I expected like the Verge or Axios or one of these, you know, uh tech publications, tech crunch, some somebody to cover it, and they didn't they didn't cover it. Um but again, I think this is a lot of them were busy. They were they were a little busy this weekend. But Plus we knew about weekend. it before that that big oh, yeah. the big thing happened. So the big thing. Anyway, let's let's talk about this again for those of you who who missed it and who might be looking for information on it. Now, the long and short is there's a group that has a problem with Disney using AI. And uh, they I think they treat their customers like crap, too, and artists like crap. what? Imagine um, that, which I don't disagree with them. I mean, I disagree on their methods, but I don't disagree with what they're saying. And uh, yeah, so they have over a terabyte of information from the company Slack. And apparently they were uh, given access to this by a high ranking Disney tech or employee. Somebody who was the that could get them in. Yeah. They name the person. We're not going to name the person. We're not going to name the person. You can there. find it. It's, um, it's out yeah. there. Um, but here's here's the article from the Hollywood Reporter. Disney hacked group claims to have trove of data. Company investigating, and this isn't the first time they've been hacked. They were hacked. Uh, we were looking into it. 2017, mm -hmm. um, their film slate was going to be released or something. And yeah, they, I, re I vaguely remember that. And then Sony got hacked not long ago. Sony got hacked. Uh, so the hacktivist group Noel Bulge is claiming responsibility for the hack, which includes a trove of data taken from the Slack channels. Uh, Disney's investigating it. Well, you Fair. better you better get to it. The thing is, once it's out there, it's it's out there. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything, even if you investigate, it's already out. If it's leaked, it's already out. 
I'm sure James O'Keefe is salivating at this point. Probably. He's probably like, if I can just get some some more dirt on Disney's hiring practices, that's a lot more mileage I can get in my videos. Um, yeah, so the hacktivist group No Bulge is claiming responsibility for it. The group describes itself as a hacktivist group protecting artists' rights and ensuring fair compensation for well, their work. I mean, I, I again, I, I think artists and stuff have a reason to be concerned, especially with AI, and Disney has been doubling down on it. And I know you did a video, but I don't know if you posted it yet, about the IOTC um, groups that they might not come to an agreement with the studios because of AI mostly. Yeah. So as I understand it, um, part of the problem with, with IOTC is that uh, they're saying that they're not going to have this, this. This is the artist, the graphic designers or, uh, or set designers. They said that they wouldn't have the same protections or options to pass on using AI like writers have. Writers apparently in the contract with the WGA, they could decline to use something like uh, chat GPT, right? If they don't want to use it for ethical reasons. Well, IOTC is not given the same clause. So like if the company says you're you're going to make fake art, you know, get to it, that's how we do things here. You you're, you're going to do it. And the, the reality of it, ethical or not, is that more and more companies are adopting the technology. They're adopting it very quickly. We're already seeing Disney's playing around with it. They did that Thanksgiving image mm -hmm. and some other images using AI which I never thought I'd see from Disney, but here we are. I know. Um and we're going to see more and more uh, adoption of it. And I think companies like Disney will probably just push people out of the way that aren't on board with it because yeah. it's, they can do more with, with paying people less basically. Well, they, they said down here at the bottom, no bulge. They, they, they told the wall street journal that it targeted Disney due to how it handles artist contracts. It's approach to AI and it's pretty blatant disregard for the consumer. Again, don't agree with their methods, but their, their reasoning for why they're upset. I, I get, I get, I can understand why they're mad. Now, what, what they're not doing, they didn't hijack all this information to be like, we think Disney Star Wars sucks. Because I'm waiting for me. That'll be like, yeah. <laughs> That'll be like, like, those incels. Those incels are holding the company hostage. It's like, you better cancel the acolyte or we're not. Yeah, we're no, not gonna, that did not happen. No, but um, yeah, I'm not going to name the guy. They don't even name him in this article. This come from Rewrite. I think we talked. This is the article. No, this isn't. Uh, no, you last update. I think this is this is one we looked at on Saturday. No, this is a different, oh, this okay. is a different one. Um, but uh, they don't seem too sympathetic to this guy because, yeah, they basically said they were going to release all of his personal information yeah, now like because bad. he turned on them. Now, I don't know if he threaten to turn them into the authorities or what, but they're like, yeah, uh, we'll just, you know, release all your personal information and uh, that's what you get. Yeah, they said down here, like, um, the author says, like, lie with the dogs, you wake up with fleas. But they were saying that the uh, the hack uh, was everything from information on released, unreleased games, images, internal messaging. I know there's some ESPN stuff in there, a lot of things. Um, but they said on here, well, here's the quote. The 1.1 terabytes of data, almost 10,000 channels, every message and file possible, dumped unreleased projects, raw images and code, some logins, links to internal API web pages, and more. Have fun sifting through it. There's a lot there. We tried to hold off until we got deeper in, but our inside man got cold feet and kicked us out. I thought we had something special, and then they put the person's name. Consider the dropping of literally every bit of personal info you have from logins to credit cards to social security number as a warning for people in future. Yeah, so... And that um, came from Pirate Nation. So yeah, um, you can you can find his name. You can find it in the original post again. It's Pirate. pirate yeah, and that's Nation. what we found out about it. Was you know they did an article, but it was based on that the person's tweets, which we saw. Yeah. So I I am I am video, yeah. waiting for somebody to if they get a hold of this data to parse it, uh, break it down. I don't know if there's anything incriminating in there, or it's just chit chat, or it, you know maybe maybe there is you know something juicy in there about their hiring practices. Maybe we got. Well, Disney people calling their consumers dumbasses. They said I there's mean, already been information leaked everywhere this, elsewhere this morning about Unknown Aliens game rumored to be Fire Team Elite 2 from an internal Disney presentation. I've heard, too, that there's information about what they were going to do at, at um, SDCC. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. that's true or not, but I saw people saying that that was, that was supposedly in there. Now, see, when, when you said, uh, you know, a hack and, and information dump and aliens, I was like, wait, 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 is this like the government hack? Like, oh, it's time for aliens now. We had, didn't have enough excitement this weekend mm -hmm. that we have to talk about the aliens. No, no, we're talking about the aliens game, yes. Yeah, the aliens No, we're not going to talk about aliens. Please, for the love of God. We've had how many celebrities die this last week, and then the, the thing happened this weekend, and the then this. Thing. 
I, 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 we're just because we we stay with pol- uh, with uh, pop culture. We don't do politics, so. We're trying very hard not to bring it in unless it comes up for it some is, reason. It is very hard not to discuss the thing because, like, all of the celebrities that lost their shit in 2016, 2017 are losing an even bigger pile of shit mm-hmm. now. Uh, so it's it, I can't I can't promise you it's never going to pop up in a video. But we're trying very hard to keep <laughs> we're this trying to focus like, on pop culture, and that's what people are here for. Right, you know? right. So, so escapism, we're trying to give you that. Um, anyway, are we going to wrap this up? Yeah, I think we're going to I think we're going to wrap this one up, guys. So there you go. Uh, I expect the- to see more stuff as it gets leaked out. Oh, absolutely. We're probably going to start posting more about it. So absolutely. But hey, the media finally caught up. There you Good go. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. All right. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye.